video presents a guided tour of AS Remel. We'll introduce you to basic aspects of the AS Remel command file and show you how to import data, run an AS Remel program in a command file, and interpret the output files. The typical sequence of operations when using AS Remel is prepare a data file, e.g. export as a .csv file from Excel, import the data file into AS Remel, prepare a program within a command file, extension .as, run the analysis in AS Remel, i.e. submit the command file, review the output files, revise the program within the command file and rerun or report the results. The example we'll walk through is a randomized block analysis of a field trial. Four replicates of 19 released cultivars, 35 experimental wheat lines, and two additional triticale lines were laid out in a 22 row by 11 column rectangular array of plots. The standard format of an AS Remel data file is to have the data separated by spaces, tabs or commas into columns with a line for each sampling unit. The columns contain covariates, factors, response variates and weights. This image shows the first few lines of the file nin89.asd containing the data for our variety trial. The data are in field order, rows within columns, with optional column headers in the first line of the file. There are 11 columns separated by spaces and the complete file has 224 data lines, one for each variety in each replicate. With the AS Remel welcome screen displayed, we'll start a new project to import our data file. Select Start a new project, then click OK. To create a project around an existing data file, we select the last option, then click Next. Navigate to the file location. This will be C, Program Files, AS Remel 4, Examples, Functional. Now double click the file nin89.asd to open it. In this menu, we can provide a name, a project folder, and file name stubs for our project. AS Remel provides some defaults, which we can overwrite if we want to. The project folder is where all the files associated with your project will be stored. The default folder path is read-only, so you will get an error if you try to save files to this folder. Change the default folder path to any location you like by clicking Browse. I've already created a My Projects folder on the desktop, so I'll store all the AS Remel generated files here. The file name stub will be used to form the names of files stored as part of your project. Leave other options at their default settings and click Finish. The project viewer on the left displays a tree view of the files in your project. AS Remel automatically creates these two files for you. Click the file data nin89.asd to see the content of our imported data file. The AS Remel command file has the extension .as. Click the item program nin89.as to view the program within the command file. These are the commands that will run your AS Remel analysis. We won't go into detail about the command file right now, as this is beyond the scope of our tutorial. However, we will tell you where to find the information in the help system at the end of this video. With the file program nin89.as highlighted, from the menu, select Run, Run. The program will run and produce a number of output files. Most of the files and all the files that contain user information 
are text files which you can view with any editor. Click OK to close the prompt. The primary output from running our program is written to the report file nin89.asr. This file contains a summary of the data, the iteration sequence, estimates of the variance parameters and a table of walled F statistics for testing fixed effects. The estimates of all the fixed and random effects are written to nin89.sln. The residuals, predicted values of the observations and the diagonal elements of the hat matrix are in nin89.yht. You can access help files by selecting help, then choosing one of these options. From here, you can also open the ASREML user guide PDF. Chapter 3 of the user guide walks you through the content of this tutorial in more detail, including a full description of all the output files. You'll also find more examples that you can work through in Chapter 16. This will help you become familiar with ASRAML by analysing real data sets.